player for yeah. sure. Um, Clario being uh, another one of our very strong Sheik yeah, players one of our here. Sheiks, um, and Princess uh, Clario. Princess Clario to the rescue, and uh, you know we'll see we'll see how this goes. It should be a pretty good matchup. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, Clario usually likes to uh, just he, he likes to play footsies a lot. He really does. He really, really does. So um, he'll wait until he can get uh, maybe his uh, four tilt string in, like four tilt, three four tilts until a uh, grab. Yep. Oh, okay, good. He gets that nice that nice yep. up smash right there onto uh, onto Kinzer. Uh, Kinzer is definitely going to want to do his usual bread and butter here, which consists of uh, constantly pressuring him with spin dashes and whatnot. So. Is that the uh, hammer side beat? I believe that is the hammer side beat, the one that does ground ground you. Yes. 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 I've, I've heard people do not like that. Um, it is. I like to think it's actually really good against projectiles and certain approaches. Um, whereas Clario probably wants to to approach with you know ju you know short hop fares towards him. Um, it's something that might just be able to beat it out. Okay. That, was, that was really interesting. Yeah, just whiff, whiff, whiff. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I saw. Uh, that that back throw. Did they did they nerf it any, or is it still just? Ugh. Uh, it's ner no, it got nerfed for sure. Uh, Sonic's back throw is a lot less potent than it used to be. Kill uh, doesn't kill nearly as well. Uh, as seen there, uh, right there, it would have done. It had it would have had quite a bit of knockback. He would have been magnified for sure. Oh, uh, okay. It does so. hit him with a down smash. So no longer do we have um, Sonic with the uh, Nest Part Two. No. But it does right, look like the, the they're at about nice. they're, they're at about even percentages here. But the bouncing fish trade, um, not a very good trade at all for for Kinzer. Kin yeah. gets that gets that GameStop trade. Has to hold that. And uh, well, let's see if he can. Let's yeah, see if he can get this. That's stock how you off beat uh, Sonic. Is you have to challenge the ball. Yes. A lot of people, what they don't do is. Or what they do is they'll get scared when uh, Sonic goes in the ball and they'll just hide behind their shield and start rolling around. And like to be honest, that right there is a huge mistake. Yeah. Huge mistake. You got to challenge it. It doesn't have a grip of um, priority or anything. Just um, about anything. Or if anything else, about. just you know, just 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 shield it. Yeah. You, know, you can just. Um, you can't can shield it. it, it it, it depends on the Sonic player. Some Sonic players, if you shield it, they'll just jump out and uh, try and footstool or something. Oh, Whoa, nice back that air. back air. Jeez. Nice back air. Fantastic option there from Kinzer. 68%. This is doable for him. Uh, not insurmountable by any means, but uh, he has really, really got to watch his play here. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh. That's, I'm surprised that homing attack actually did not hit him there. That's that was, uh, very strange. Yeah, humming attacks, they're very, the AI on that's very weird, very weird. Sometimes, uh, even even done like off the stage, they just, they don't, they don't hit, they... they it they, does whatever it wants to do. Basically, it's the same exact thing as just, in uh, Sonic Adventure very, 2. It's just very, very it's awkward. just like the for games. Sure. I think, uh, Dimps or Sonic Team made that. They programmed this attack. Okay, so right, that fourth throw there. Uh, and the down throw there on on Sheik. Mm. And Sheik's uh, really quick getting back. Um, if Sheik were any slower, I'm pretty sure that uh, Kinzer would have jumped out and started throwing out springs. Absolutely. Uh, it's oh god. If that actually if that bouncing fish had hit right there, that would have been the end yeah. of Kinzer's stock. Uh, he gets to live another day. 160%. He is in rage. So anything here will kill Clara. But that forward smash forward is going to get him. Nice. Very nice uh, showing by Clara over here. Um, uh, another member, member of Big Smash who is very relatively new to this game picked it up recently. He plays a plethora of fighting games. Um, anything from uh, he plays he plays a lot of anime fighters, 2D fighting games, uh, and, and a couple of other fighting games. And um, a lot of his skills, I think, were uh, as far as his footsies and his ability to read opponents has translated very well into this game. I like to think. Um, and she is honestly just the perfect character for him. Nice, fast, and actually with an actual ability to combo, which is great for him. Yeah, that's great. Um, now, they decided to go to Town and City. I don't know if this is just a, a great pick overall by Kinzer or more of like a comfort pick. Something that, you know, he can just see himself playing on. Doesn't seem like much of a counter to me. Yeah, it's... I... I think you may just enjoy the stage. Okay. I mean, and that's perfectly fine, too. Yeah. That's... Counter picks are... The, the stage the stage choice is at your leisure, so... Yeah, same with me. I, a lot of times, um, unless I'm playing a character who's really good on certain stages, I'll just pick stages that I like. Right, yeah, that's and that's how it should be, honestly. Uh, um, I'd rather oh than having any rhyme or re reason for me. So, 
got a uh, Sonic here, it's still about 17%. He is, it does look like he has managed to rack up a pretty good, decent amount of percentage on Clara until that combo came out and ended any and all talk of that. Uh, they're, Mario's uh, combos are just beautiful. They're, they're very effortless. They, they look very effortless. Um, he does a, a very great job at following up. Uh, and he 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 really he he likes to just stay on his opponent well. Um, very good traits for a Sheik to have, obviously. And he he also really really enjoy, enjoys using those needles. Uh, I I prefer I think he just prefers to use those normal needles as opposed to the uh, the shield breaking ones that a lot of Sheiks tend to use nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Okay. Good forward smash there. Uh, oh, so I don't think Clario uses any customs, right? No, he's vanilla. He is 100% vanilla. Okay. Uh, Sheik. Interesting nice down, down air. Oh, and, oh. and that, it's gonna get it. That bouncing. That fish bouncing. Is so fish. good. The trajectory makes it really hard to dodge. That was super ballsy there by um by Clario. He just does. He just does. Yeah, does Clario's just stalling. He just throws the vanilla forward smash in there at zero percent. Nails it. Doesn't get punished for it. Um, Kinzer, Kinzer looks like he's playing a little bit frustrated here, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. He might be one of us Vegas people who are tired. Yeah. Oh God. Pre Johns. He, Pre Johns. He's been he's been playing a lot of matches. He's been on stream for for a while um, himself, or being he's been featured on stream for quite a while, and it looks like a lot of it is he's, he's lost a lot of his stamina here. I'm not seeing a lot of luster come out from him at all. He's just throwing random moves out. Yeah. He's just doing stuff. Oh, this is this is very. I actually, was kind of expecting the uh, back throw from there. I I I, I expected a throw, but up a down throw. Up throw. throw. Up yeah, throw kills, I, right? it, no, it does nope. not actually. It does it's not? just just the forward throw and the back throw. Oh. Um. And Clario, man, he's just he really is just maintaining his lead here. Uh, All right, he does so get he hit finally by that got that out, but he's at 97 percent. It's gonna be difficult for him to uh, bring that back. It's gonna be very difficult for him to make to, to make this comeback. Uh, yeah. Now Sheik obviously not being known to be able to kill ex exceptionally well, so Sonic can make this comeback with a couple of spin dashes here or there. But yeah, uh, true that. But um, having so much rage is gonna make all of his comboing extremely difficult. This is true. This is actually very very true. Um, he is gonna be able to attack on percentage, but his follow up won't be as concise. Yeah. Uh, rage won't be the is, same. Uh, that's it's a sure. double edged sword. Um, is it impossible? Sonic's got a pretty de a pretty decent amount of moves, particularly his four smash that can kill uh, kill early. Yeah, but okay. it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. That upper right, so two seals the Clario. deal. Clario is Clario's a man on a mission here. Oh, he's putting um, in work. Uh, oh, he will. Okay. All right. Um. So we do, so we do have uh we we do have another match coming up, guys. Um, Kino will be will be facing uh the winner of that match. In this case, it will be Clario. So it will be Hino versus Clario in just a short moment. Uh, Hino has stepped out for a little while. He will be back very shortly. Um, in the meantime, once again, our go through for the, the uh, for the fiftieth time. Uh, we are we got our thank you list going on. Yeah. So we have uh, shout outs to New Meta uh, Entertainment who's providing the stream that you're watching. Uh. And also Codex World, uh, who have their new game that will be coming out uh, the fall of this year to Steam. It's a tower defense uh, survival game with tactical action. So for more information about that, check out their Facebook at uh, Codex Worlds. Uh, yeah, and uh, shout out to Game Over Controllers for this awesome controller. Once again, we just can't stop showing it to you guys. Uh, it is awesome. It looks cool. The color is cool. The finish is awesome. It is going to our first place winner of this event. And if you... Huh? Okay, just a friendly. Uh, and if you guys are interested in this and looking to get your own custom controller, you can check them out on Facebook at facebook.com backslash game over controller. What is that color called? Um, is that metallic fusion rust? I've seen a color. Wow, wow, color. wow. I, uh, all <laughs> metallic fusion rust. Guys, we have we, we have possible confirmation on the color of this control. I actually had no absolute no idea that that was an actual color. I it honestly looks like used to have it, and it looks like wood finish violin esque type color. Um, I was thinking anyways. That color makes me hungry. That's why I think about it up. Well, uh, <laughs> huh. that's num num for me. Shout outs to uh, yeah, shout outs to Chaos Pro, awesome controller <laughs> with his metallic, metallic fusion rust. Metallic fusion rust. I uh, yeah, I got I got to <laughs> applaud this. The man knows his colors. That's just fantastic, guys. <laughs> give him a round of applause. That's just fantastic. Wow, it is really late. Uh, and again, uh, last but not least, huge shout outs to GameWork for allowing us to stay in here uh, despite it being late and it is getting later and later as the night goes on. Yeah, uh, wonderful venue, uh, food, games, sports, um, 
Bring your whole family over. It is a wonderful venue. Yeah. They've been so very, very nice to us here, um, providing us uh, with with you know a room to be able to to stream in. Uh, well, uh, well ventilated room. Air conditioning is awesome. The food has been really, really good. I've been able to stay alive because of the food up until now. Yeah. I haven't been able to fall asleep yet, so that's fantastic. Um, and of course, you know the uh, the awesome um, the awesome party room that we're actually currently using for uh, for DVDA, which is how which is hosting. Uh, Obviously, all of our players in fantastic looking room. It's great. I uh, love them. Good thing is they always let us stay after closing. Yes. All right, we're always here super late. They close at 11, 11? I believe today. They close Monday. at they close at 11. Uh, we'll be lucky to get out of here. We've um, had times where we by that here time since we'll be till three. We'll be very very lucky to get out of here by that time. It is already 10:40, guys. Um, if we get out at, at 11 that time, I I would be very surprised. Uh, probably not gonna happen. Um, so again, very very cool of them. Nice of them to allow us to to, to stay well past that time. Uh, most of the time, these DVDs do tend to run till about uh, one o'clock in the morning. Uh, considering this DVDA has been run so very efficiently up until now, um, and uh, doesn't have quite as many um, entrants this time around. Um, expect this this particular DVDA uh, to be over uh, maybe at around around 12:30. Yeah, 12:30. Um, I would have to say so. Uh, definitely stay tuned. There's